Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 41 and 42 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Can you believe we're almost done with this? We'll be done with this by next week. Like, and I already know by next show that I'm going to do because my friend asked me on Twitter, but she needs to become a Patreon and such. But I told her, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I was like, because mm, I think I'm probably going to take a break after. So I need to kind of like go back and forth and message with her and such and everything. But I don't want this to be over because this is such a damn good show. And I hate the fact that we only really have less than a week before I'm done with this awesome, amazing, beautiful, flawless show. And I hate that. <laughs> I don't want this to be over. I want more stories. It's like how I felt with like Monogatsuri and Penguin Drum when I was watching those two shows for the first fucking time. And I was like, you can't end. Like, you need to continue. Oh. oh, that's so sweet. You thought it was going to be complicated? <laughs> my child I think that's gonna be the one thing I'm gonna love about having kids like to cook with them like oh my god hi Cody okay I need you to back up so you don't hurt yourself Precious baby. <gasps> Sugar and soy sauce. It's an interesting combination. Good. a lot of math. Hmm? <laughs> Is he Volvo? Oh my 
my god. Hearing them just talk about tapioca makes me want to have <laughs> have boba, and I've never had boba before. <laughs> And I bet you there's going to be somebody watching this. Like, oh my god, you've never had boba? Boba is good as fuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's good, ain't it? But you don't want to say that to them. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. You had to go see her. No. It reminds me of when I got to see my best friend for the first time in the longest time. Like, oh, I'm gonna die! Uh, Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I want to get some stuck in my throat. Really, Cody? Hmm. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Is Momo going to be able to help, or is she just going to be sitting on the sidelines?
I mean, honestly, because if we go back to the beginning and the way you were, I don't think you would have been able to do something like this. Hmm? <laughs> you got taller. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, like, um, we're gonna make that moolah. She got that hustler mentality. <laughs> <laughs> but you did good, honestly. <laughs> yeah. 
you sure about that? No, focus on schoolwork. Oh, yeah, you don't want to deal with that fucking bitch. Mm -hmm. Of course, but she needs to feel guilt over this. She don't give a shit. I'm sorry. Honestly, she should have been expelled. If she really didn't care about that, you know, she wouldn't have even cared if she got expelled. I can't imagine her being being a teacher and having that child or any sort of like the troublemaker kid in your class because how do you know when it's like too far to say something to someone like her? I think everybody is like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, yeah, who did you think we were talking about? You? I mean, psh.
Mm-hmm. She has to have some other problems that are going on at home at why, and it has to be the reasons of why she does the certain things that she does and why she doesn't give a shit. Thank you. Oh my God. Of course, she has nothing to say to that. No. This was a cute episode. Oh my god. Really, honestly. For Hina and such. Like, the fact is that she is still, once again, smiling again for, like, the last few episodes. It's really good. Her bullier... Fuck her. <laughs> honestly. Screw that bitch. And to the point that, yes, her... Her, you know, her former uh, homeroom teacher had to kind of tell her off, but not in a mean way, more in a nice way. I love that. <laughs> Honestly, because someone needed to tell her off. If it wasn't someone her actual age, it had to be someone who's older without actually putting their hands on them. Because there is a time where I've never met a teacher who has put their hands on another person's child because of course you know that's bad that's the same thing as someone who's a babysitter or whatever or if you are a parent putting your hands on someone else's kid it's a big no-no you don't do that but you it's about controlling yourself yes there are some kids who are little shits some teenagers who are shits and stuff and sometimes you want to tell them off you want to do something but it's always about be letting them down gently and easy and honestly he did a damn good job i don't like her and i definitely don't like her fucking mom honestly they could kick rocks as, as much as i give a fuck about them but the fact that her the Hina and Gina, they saw each other this summer that was so fucking sweet Ah, uh, I can't. Like, my heart just warmed up so much, even though she still has a ways to go before she's able to be normal again. And, it, and like I said, it's like it, it's an everyday... Is she wearing what I think she's wearing? Yeah, uh, uh, Kati is wearing that, um... <laughs> the Virgin Killing Sweater. Oh, my God. I thought I would never see that again. <laughs> But her, you know, <laughs> Hina's friend just needs a little more time. And I think probably by the end of the series and once she sees her again, she will be a completely different person than she was in this episode. I just hate the fact that we're going to be done with this damn show by next week. Because like, ah, uh, Because it feels like there's so much more. And, and it makes you wonder, like, where the hell they're going to end this show. And I'm scared because they could do anything with these last three episodes that we have. But by the time I finish this next episode, it'll be two. But yeah, I mean, 
I hope that this next episode is just as good as this one because this one was really nice and calm. It's a summer episode and typically a lot of summer episodes are calm. I'm guessing like Hina's probably gonna want to go to the same school as Ray. I mean, maybe, who knows? Like, um, we'll just have to... Excuse me. We just have to wait and see, but go ahead and pause the video. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 42. Okay, episode 42 and 3, 2, 1, go. the seats that she scotched. Oh, look at the jelly one! Oh my god! <laughs> With the bridge! Oh, Hannah! No. What? What's wrong? That's why you're supposed to do it on day one. Right when his parents and his family died.
Maybe. Go to your school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, of course, gotta take Momo. So, what are you doing today? Oh, like I'm ready to eat. Let's go. <laughs> Poor Ray, I bet you he feels so embarrassed right now. <laughs> Is my mom calling me? Hold on, Cody. Mom, I'm busy recording. I'm not done yet. Come on. <laughs> Come on, 
life, Cody. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, mama. Oh. Yeah, she needs to get it. Help the child. Watch him not get it either. Oh! Oh, that look good. It's a good momo. What the hell? Yeah! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> get pink That was cute. So I think cute. Oh my god. You got this, boo. No pressure. Help. SOS, help. Is it raining? Oh, yeah, it's raining. Thank God, we need the rain today. Not the rain, kind of, but not really.
And he comes home. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yo, so Break time. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. That's fucking cute. <laughs> actually have kids you can make it for your kids oh my god oh, best girl cover the best girl oh my god I can't the cat went in like can I have some too oh my god <laughs>
Mm-hmm. So go, you earned it. Was he asleep? No, he's just. I'm sorry. We all know she's getting into that school, damn it. I mean, come on. Like, after having so much fun with the club, <laughs> there's no way in hell she's not getting in that school. We have two episodes left, so it would make sense for you to end this on a series finale for her to get into the school. I just want her and Ray to just be together at that school so that she has someone to, like, latch on to and stuff. Going into a new school is hard, especially if you're going into a private school. I mean, the biggest thing is, like, going into private schools, even though I've never been to one, um, is do you have enough money and such? We have a, um, my bad, a, a art center. a the Yeah, it was a, um, a performing arts school that I wanted to go to. Um, when I officially got back here in 2008, but, um, found out the week of my audition that, uh, they had already gotten in their students, so I had to go to a public school and such, and so it was four years in being at a public school, but still a love-hate relationship going to that public school even though that school currently right now is an F school because of everything of what's happened once I left and now the rest of us left. So we like to call I, our high school here where I live jail. It was jail for four years. I don't care what you tell me. That place, that school was pure unfiltered hell for all of us. There were some good days and some bad days. But that school was still hell, and I don't care what people tell me. It was. I hated going to that school. Even though I have really, I have more good memories than bad memories going to that school. But still, I, I hated 
going to my high school. I loved my my elementary school that I went to because I'm not that far from my elementary school because when I was a little kid going to elementary school, I was still living in this apartment building that I'm currently living in now. Um, and such until I left in 2003 and then I moved to Nebraska, stayed there for six years. And that is like my other home away from home. Which I, I don't think I would ever still go back there, but I have a lot of fond memories there. And then I have a lot of fond memories here, even though I'm someone who I'm like, well, maybe it's kind of time for me to leave Florida once again and discover myself on my own and such. So I kind of do have a plan and everything because I still want to go to school and such. I want to better my career, uh, my education and everything. These are things that I kind of wish I did when I was like 18, but now I'm doing it at like 27, but it's okay. But yeah, this episode was really good. I mean, I hope Hina gets into the school. We just got to wait and to see how this outcome is going to end with the last, the final two episodes of the series. And I hate the fact that it's ending. I don't want it to end, but I hope it's going to be good for her. She's going to, she's got this. She has everything to gain. She She's going to get this and she's going to be with Ray like every single day and it's going to be awesome and I'm gonna love it so much but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 41 and 42 of March comes in like a lion if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for patreons and next Monday for everyone else for the final two episodes bye guys